back to my channel, Beauty and Life with Lily. If you guys want to see how I got this look and see the review on the Frozen 2 Elsa and Anna collections from Colourpop and by Disney, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so before I get into this Frozen 2 Disney Colourpop collection review and start, so what I figured what I'm going to do before I start putting the collections on my face. I'm going to do my base. I'm going to do half of my face Anna and the other half Elsa. Anyways, so um, just some information about the collections. They are $38 each. So for the Anna and Elsa, which is a total of $76 if you get both collections. So yeah, just a little info. So I'm going to get going with my base. So this is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I've been using this all basically throughout winter because it's my best friend right now. Because I have super dry skin during winter. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love this brush for stick foundations because it just blends in everything so well. Oh, and my stick foundation shade, I'm in vanilla. So now I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I love this stuff. The only thing I don't like about it is it creases pretty fast. So you have to like work quickly with setting it. That's the only downside to this concealer. But I love how full coverage it is and you can use it for multiple things so I dig that very much and appreciate that and a little here try not to get too crazy with it even though I can easily get crazy with this concealer so I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender Pro pink Beauty Blender now And this is also in the shade Vanilla. <laughs> it's funny though because the Hourglass Vanilla and the Too Faced Vanillas, they're like literally two different shades. Like, I feel like the Hourglass Vanilla, that one's more like cool. And this one is kind of like warm, the Too Faced one. It's like, a, it's like a cool undertone, but it's also at the same time kind of like yellow and kind of warm and has like a little golden touch to it. Which I appreciate because my skin is very albino right now. Like my face is like the lightest part of my face, that and my hands. But then I get sort of browner and then just, it gets real weird. It's really weird for me. I'm just like, skin, can you decide to be one color, please? But, nope. It's like, you're going to be uh, very unique and have two different skin tones. And I'm like, okay. But, 
just going over anything because before I set, I don't want to have any crease lines anywhere underneath my eyes, eyelid, anything. Okay, and I'm going to be using my Fenty Lavender Powder. I've been using this so much, even on Instagram, because I love this for an under eye area. It just brightens so well. I love this powder for that. So it's basically all I use this powder for is to brighten. And this is my Real Techniques setting brush. Okay, this is why I love this powder and brush so much. I just, I cannot live without that powder. This brush, it's a staple brush in my collection because I got a lot of brushes, but I feel like everyone needs a good setting brush like that for under their eyes because it can get not good. <laughs> You don't sit well underneath there. And I definitely recommend this powder to anyone who's looking for something to brighten their under eye. This Fenty Beauty um, Lavender Powder. I love this powder so much. And I've had this, I think I bought this in the summer and it's, it still feels pretty full. <laughs> So, I, I love that about it. Okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is for people with dry skin. It is great. You will love this powder. It is amazing. And to set my face, I'm going to be going with this It Cosmetics Powder Brush. And it's a jade powder brush. So really awesome. Kind of like jade rollers, but it's a powder brush. Pretty awesome. Right, so now I'm going to go in and do my brows, guys. Okay, I'm going to be using ColourPop. These are, um, this is their brow gel. It says Brow Boss Gel. <laughs> it's really cute. Because I figured, oh, this is a ColourPop video, so I'm going to use my ColourPop brows. I usually use Benefit brows, but I also do like ColourPop, um, their brow products, because they're cheaper, um, so that makes them more affordable for everyone. So even if you have a tighter budget. <laughs> and I also do love that um, you get your spoolie on one side. And then I love how small this is because it gets really precise. So then when you do your brows, you can really fill them in really precise. Can you see the difference of this brow? It's definitely more fuller. And because my brows, they are naturally black. So I always like to add a little bit of brown because my hair, um, well, you can't really see it, but it's actually like brown 
with blonde but like a caramel kind of blonde and I like to make my brows blend in with my hair uh, yep beautiful Got those brows on point there. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my Brow Boss Gel by ColourPop and set these brows into place. Alright guys, so let's go in with this Anna. We're going to start off with Anna first because I really, okay, the inside. Okay, it's cute with the little bow on the bottom, but I was really attracted to the colors for the Anna collection. Okay, so you get one Lux lipstick right here and you get a lip gloss and you get the eyeshadow palette, so which is really awesome. And beautiful, like watch, I'm gonna show you right now these colors. I would literally, like I've been saying, I would buy, I would buy, you know, this makeup just for the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. But these are totally my vibes, like my color vibes here. This is like, I love the mirror. Then in the back here, you have all the names of the shades. And you got Anna right here, so it's like, come on. Come on now. Like, ColourPop and Disney, they always come up with the most cutest packaging. Oh my gosh, the packaging. I can't get over the packaging. But these colors are all my vibes because I love browns and I love gold and I love me glitter. And uh, I'm just, I can't wait to use this. So I'm going to do the Anna on this side and then we're going to do Elsa on this side. So, all right, let's get into this. So I'm gonna go in with my Alamara Fluffy brush. I love this brush. I've talked about it on Instagram as well. I love this brush. So I don't really have like a base shade in this palette. This one's very shimmery right here. That is called, let me see what it's called. I think it's called Earth. No, wait, no, it's not. It is called scooch in this one yeah it's called scooch in so yeah that one is it's too shimmery for like my whole lid so i'm gonna go in with another palette get something more matte so i always like to my whole lid with a nice matte so i'm gonna go in with my jacqueline hill the jacqueline hill palette <laughs> by morphe and there is this one shade here I believe it's called, it's this guy right here, but I do believe it's called In Light, but I always love this shade to like set my whole eye. I think, no, it's not this one. I'm sorry. It's not In Light. It's the one next to it. <laughs> that one's called Beam. So I always like setting my whole eye, eyelid with that. We're just going to set the whole eye area. Might as well, while I'm setting this eye, I'm going to set the other one. Now I'm going to go in. Okay, I'm going to go in and first start with this shade right here in the Anna palette. Fearless because that is so beautiful and I'm gonna go in back with this fluffy brush. I love that shade. Wow, that's so pretty. You can definitely build that up. It wasn't like too pigmented, so I'm just gonna build it up a little more. I love that. 
That's gorgeous. All right. Now that I blended this baby out here. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Wind. That is this shade right up here. And I'm gonna go in with that fluffy brush again. and almost touching my brown bone but not wow that is so beautiful I'm just like I love these like browns and just very neutral colors because they're like perfect for every day. That's what kind of like drew me to the Anna palette because that's something like I can see myself using these colors every day in my crease. Okay, so for my lid now, okay, Arendelle, I'm thinking of going in with that glitter right there, Arendelle. <laughs> I wanna go in with that and with Earth. So both of these, Earth and Arendelle, they look like they're gonna look beautiful together. Like just complement each other very well. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Alamar brush here. It's like a flat brush. Put that earth shade right here in the inner corner. Start. I love the eyeshadow, but it's not as pigmented as I want it to be, so I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus and spray my brush. Here we are, my MAC Fix Plus. came out with full force. But now I know I'm definitely gonna get more color payoff. Okay. Oh yeah, that's more of the gold color payoff I was looking for. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here with the gold. So I wanna go bring it out all the way. So I wanna go in with the Arendelle shade, that beautiful glittery shade right here. Cause that, that right there is like a showstopper on the eye. I'm loving that. So I'm gonna go in back with this LMR brush again into that Arendelle shade and apply it to my eyelid. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to wet this brush because mm -mm. it's like a press glitter here. Oh, actually, it's it's doing pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. Wow. Okay, I'm still gonna go in some Max Fix Plus a little bit because I want to intensify. That is beautiful. I am getting, I don't know if you guys can see, but I am getting like a little bit of fallout right here from the glitter. So I'm like, that's a, that's a bummer there. But I'm just gonna dust that off with that Real Techniques brush. Just gonna, there you go, just dust it off. Yeah, that glitter is gorgeous. 
It like it's really pretty. <laughs> Ooh. Love me a beautiful glitter. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Vasanti contour eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna go in now with I wanna use one of these purple and I think I'm gonna use this one Autumn Breeze. Um and put that like right on the outer corner. Cause I think that's gonna look beautiful. So I'm just going with this autumn breeze shade right here. Bring that into my crease a little as well. outer corner I really love this color the purple but uh, I don't want to say this but I kind of feel like I need to I feel like it's a it's looking a little chalky this um purple shade right here this matte purple and I'm kind of not really feeling that <laughs> there, but um, I think I'll be able to fix it right now. But I'm just letting you guys know the purple's a little bit chalky. But um, it's hard to make a good purple eyeshadow, so I will say that. So I've tried other matte purples, and they just go on more smoother, and. I don't know if you can really see, but like, and I, I kind of went over it with the purple and I still feel like it's like a little chalky still in some areas of my eye, my outer eye. So, um, I'm going to go in with another matte shade. This one is called Charades right here. That looks like a beautiful like deep chocolate brown so i'm gonna go in with charades with the same brush okay that's better that kind of actually fixed the purple <laughs> wow it's pretty okay so now i'm gonna go back in with this Fearless shade, and I'm gonna put that um, right here on my under eye, like just under the lash line, with that same Basanti brush. Okay, now I'm going to go back in um, with that Autumn Breeze right here, that um, matte purple here. And I'm just going to use um, this flat brush here, this LMR flat brush, and just go drag underneath my lower lash line a little bit. So I feel like that's going to be really pretty to drag out that matte purple. I'm just going to bring it to the middle, not all the way. Now I'm going to go back with this Vasanti brush and I'm just going to blend it out a little, smoke it up. Okay, there you go. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and go here and I'm going to go in with this, with my fluffy brush here. And I'm going to go back into... Um, this shade here, it's called Wind. I'm just kind of, kind of blend out this brown and purple right here. I 
Now I'm going to go in with this Luxie 131 Mini Angled Brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's like a pearlescent shade. It's called Scooch In. I just think that's going to look really pretty on the brow bone and in the inner corner. So I'm going to go in and do that. Wow, that's pretty. Kind of have like a little holographic to it. Okay. That's pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this Luxie 141 mini round brush. I'm going to go back into that scooch in shade right here. I'm going to get my inner corner right here. I am getting quite a bit of fallout here from the glitter and from the purple mat. I don't know if you can really see it, but I, I have some fallout right here and right here. So I'm just going to dust that off with this Real Techniques brush. Okay, so you also get one of these um, glitters here inside with, well, you get the, you get a lipstick and you get a gloss, but this is one of the glitters that you get. So I think I'm going to put some blush on this cheek contour a little bit and then we're gonna put on that face glitter so for to contour i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills contour kit in the light to medium all right i'm gonna go in with this shade right here and this is my luxie 512 small contouring brush So for really precise contouring, I like to go in with this Good Night Luxie, Luxie brush here. It's from, I think, the Harley Quinn collection. Okay, for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer, and this is in Private Island. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer brush. This is the 190 bronzer brush. It's absolutely beautiful and so soft. <laughs> Okay, for my blush here, I'm going to go in with my Cover FX blush, and this is in Warm Honey. That's the shade. It is a beautiful blush, and it actually it goes perfect with this Anna look. <laughs> this is my Real Techniques blush brush. I'm using that to apply my blush. And now for my highlight, the highlight I've been using non-stop lately from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Um, this is a flash palette. Oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. And I mine, I think I got mine in the light to medium. I think this is for like the lighter skin tones. And her brush I've been using as well. This is a JL2 brush. It um, is for this palette. Now, this is not a Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics review, but come on. This mirror, though, it's gorgeous. And look at that packaging on the inside. It's just, it's so beautiful looking. And I appreciate beautiful packaging. And it's very sturdy as well. So, love that. Okay, I'm going to go in with the shade here, Iced. 
because lately I've been loving this shade and also Gleam, but I'm gonna go in with Ice here. Oh my gosh. Ah, that was just like a little bit and it's beautiful. I love me highlight. I can get kind of crazy with it. I love highlight. Okay. That is so pretty. Oh, I just can't. I can't even right now with this highlight. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of it on the nose here. Use like a little bit more here on the forehead. I'm telling you guys, this highlight, it's so beautiful, so wet, and just, ugh, it's stunning. It's like, you see me? I'm glowing. I'm not glowing. I'm glowing. I want the glowing, juicy cheeks. And this is, this highlighter gives me that glowy, juicy cheeks, and I love it. I love it. You guys need to pick up this palette. And she even has one for darker skin tones, which is amazing. So she wasn't just thinking of us um, fair people, but she was also thinking of the medium skin tone, darker skin tones. So that is wonderful. Pick this up. Okay, so back to the ColourPop here. I'm going to add some of this glitter now. Like, why not just get crazy with the glitter? I love me glitter. Ooh, this is like very. Ooh, I'm just putting it on top of that highlight here. And it is beautiful. Okay. I love glitter. I love highlighter. I love sparkles. if you guys can see it but it looks really pretty okay so now i'm gonna go in with this luxe lipstick and i'm gonna do half of my lip here i've never done that before so it's kind of weird to me this is going north this is from the anna collection It's pretty. And I'm going to go in with the glass here. This is Free Spirit. I love this gloss. It's so pretty. And the lipstick. Like, mm. We're so used to a Dofa gloss. And this is not a Dofa. It's like you paint it on. So I was like, okay. Yeah, that is extremely glossy. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I like the gloss. I do not like the applicator. But I'm kind of spoiled. I'm used to a Dofa. I like my Dofa. Just make it go on smoother. And this is just kind of like... Oh. It's a beautiful gloss. Don't like the applicator. So I would change that. That was ColourPop. Okay, so that was everything for the Anna collection. The glitter here and the eyeshadow look. That was basically everything. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now I'm gonna go in with my Luxie Brown Lash Brush here. It's a two-on-one brush. Come on. All right, got one look done. Okay, now for the Elsa Frozen 2 collection. 
I love the snowflakes. It's very wintry. Ooh, how pretty. Okay. All right, so here we go. We got the Alsa palette, the gloss, a luxe lipstick, and you got a face glitter here. And look at that huge snowflake in the middle. That's beautiful, it's stunning. Let's get out that palette first. Hmm. All right. Okay, so here are the colors. They have the names on the bottom of them, just like the other palettes. Here is the huge mirror, and then you get Elsa on the front of it. The Disney Frozen Color Pop, and then you got all the shade names also on the back, which is really cool. Okay, so let's get into this palette. I always like to start with my eyes first. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with my LMR fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Fire right here. Put that all in my crease. Yeah, definitely buildable, just like um, the Anna palette. Go back into fire. We got some blues in here and some mattes. So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade called Winter right here, because that looks so pretty. I just wanna play with that. Go back in with this LMR fluffy brush. That a little above the crease. No, I'm liking the mattes more in the Alsa palette. Like these mattes are very smooth to blend. Okay, now I'm gonna go in, I think, with ice crystals here, this shade. And then I'm also gonna go in with Hurry, this beautiful glitter. And I'm gonna put those on my eyelid. Cause I think they're gonna look beautiful together. So here with ice crystals. Wow. Okay, I love the color, but again, I think I'm gonna have to go in with Max Fix Plus to amp it up a little bit. So it's beautiful, but I want a little more color payoff. Oh yeah, that's so much better. There you go. That's pretty. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this hurry shade and then do it towards the middle here. Wow, that's pretty. Ooh, that is beautiful. So Elsa. <laughs> Cause these glitters are just like, they're so, so Elsa. <laughs> I love how that looks in the middle, but I do want to add <laughs> this other color here cause it looks really stunning. Um, it's called Mother Lights. It's kind of like a rosy, like, Kind of rosy mauve and it's just like really pretty and i want to add that in the outer corner because that it's just it looks beautiful okay then i'm gonna get some mac fix plus because again the color payoff not really what I want. Okay, 
Wow, that is beautiful. I got like the silver here, the glitter, and then that kind of rosy gold at the end. Well, rosy mauve gold to me. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, loving that. And I'm gonna go in with this Vasanti brush and um, I'm gonna go into this beautiful burgundy shade. It's called, let me see here. It's called Spirit Lift. It's so pretty. Wow, <laughs> that burgundy is like so pigmented and I love that. Okay, Ooh, that is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this Alamar Fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in to fire again, right here. And I'm just gonna blend out that burgundy. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with this fire shade right here. And I'm going to go in with that Vasanti Contour eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to drag that shade under my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this spiritful shade, this beautiful burgundy shade. I'm going to drag that with this flat square brush on my lower lash line as well. I'm just going to bring it here to the middle. Now I'm going to go back in with this Vasanti brush and just smoke them out. Now I'm going to go back into this LMR fluffy brush. I'm going to go back into this shade right here, Winter, beautiful blue. And I'm just going to add some right above this burgundy. Blender away, wow. Okay, I can tell you right now, I love the Anna look more. <laughs> but it's because I wouldn't really wear purples and blues on a normal day for me, so. Loving the Anna more, so far. Now, to highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna go in with with this Luxie 131 Mini Angled Brush again. And I'm gonna go into the shade Cuddle Close right here. It's kind of like holographic shade, like a white pearl holographic, and it's really pretty. This on my brow bone. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in again with this Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush, and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. The same shade, Cuddle Close. Alright, that is really pretty. The inner corner. Okay, I'm loving this. I feel like the camera isn't picking up how pigmented this is, but let's see if we can get in a little closer. It's really pigmented on both sides, but oh my gosh, I'm loving it. All right. I 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium. I did it on this side, and I'm gonna do it on the other side to make it even. Go back into this shade. Contour. And again, I'm going in with that Luxie Luxie 512 small contouring brush. Now I'm going to go back in with this Luxie Harley Quinn brush again. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with that same Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Private Island. And with the same Fenty Beauty Bronzer 190 brush. Look really bronzy. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this blush. We're going shopping. This is by Kylie Cosmetics. Then I'm gonna go in with that Real Techniques blush brush. Okay, well, I love that. Okay. And then now I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. I'm going to go in with a different shade this time because I want it to be more Elsa. And I'm going to go in with that JO2 Jaclyn Hill brush again. And I'm going to go in with the shade Gleam. Oh my gosh. Telling you these this highlighter is no joke. No joke guys. Tint my nose there. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh gosh, I'm I'm gonna add just like a little bit more here because I just I love it that much. Juicy cheeks. Juicy cheeks. Come on now. Ooh. Ooh. This is the Elsa lipstick. This is um Little Snow. That's what it's called. Little Snow. Elsa's lipstick here. Very pink, <laughs> like almost like a berry pink. It's pretty though. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Elsa's lip gloss here. Let's see the name here. I can't see. Ooh, Journey. I don't like these applicators. See, I just, I really do not like this applicator at all. The gloss is beautiful, but the only reason I wouldn't like it is because, well, I blame the applicator on this thing i do not like applicators like this i like dofas because this literally feels like i'm scratching off my lipstick underneath my gloss and i do not like that feeling mm. okay 
So what do you guys think? This is my Elsa side. This is my Anna side. And I just gotta add my glitter here. The Elsa glitter. It's very pretty. This is a face glitter. You get um, face glitter, a lipstick, and a gloss, and an eyeshadow palette for each kit. I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this because it seems easiest. Can definitely see that glitter. Especially with that highlight. Wow. Okay, I like okay, I like the Anna glitter, but I like the Elsa glitter more because you can see that. And then with the highlight, it's just beautiful. Okay. So it's like there's certain things. Okay, which one do you guys like? Feeling the Anna, the Elsa. Whew. Both beautiful. I just like certain things more out of each collection. I'm gonna put on my mascara. We're good. Okay. My better than sex mascara. So I am done here with both looks. Got the Anna look, got the Elsa look, and I'm just gonna set everything with my Tarte Stay Spray. Alright guys, so I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the Elsa and Anna ColourPop Frozen 2 Disney Collection. Um, okay, well, I'm going to tell you the things first I liked <laughs> about both the collections. I love the colors. I love the color layout. I think the color layout was spot on. Um, I loved that both of the, like, the colors that the colors that they picked for Anna, um, they totally represented Anna, like her personality, and the same for Elsa. The colors represented her perfectly and spot on. But I think the my favorite look from both of these collections that I made out of was the Anna look. But it's because <laughs> I love browns and I like more of a gold kind of look. So as you can see here, like I have the gold glitter on my face, um, that beautiful kind of rich, kind of like a mocha burnt orange brown here. Um, I did not like in both of these collections, I did not like the gloss applicator at all. That really bothered me because when I was putting on my gloss over my lipstick, it was bothering me because I felt like I was peeling off my lipstick while I was applying the gloss, which was like really frustrating for me. And I did not like that <laughs> at all. Um, I felt like I was kind of like scraping off my lower lipstick layer, adding my gloss on top. Um, I think my favorite thing about the Elsa collection was the face glitter. I believe a face glitter is so much more prettier than the Anna one. So I dig the Elsa collection for that. But then the Anna collection, I just love the eyeshadow palette. I love the colors. Um, they were so beautiful and I feel like you can use the Anna collection for every day versus the Elsa unless you're into like a purple kind of berry lip look and very icy and just flashy you can do that every day as well but i feel like this is more kind of like the everyday look i would go for for the anna collection 
um yeah i hope you guys liked this review and please give this video a big thumbs up and i was out of this little christmas santa hat because it's christmas time and i love this time of year it is my favorite and i really hope you guys like watching my review on the alsa and anna frozen color pop 2 collection um let me know in the comments down below which one you want to go pick up or if you do have these i did get mine at ulta and i thought it was better because to get them because i originally wanted to get them at um on the ColourPop website, but I didn't because they were sold out at the, at the time. So I went to Ulta because I saw online that they have it there. So I went there and I was looking at the palettes and all the stuff because they had them like the testers out open. And I was like, okay, I need to pick these up and I'm going to review these. And I hope you guys really liked watching this because it took me a long time to film <laughs> both looks. I had to pause. <laughs> In between take breaks because I have a toddler and she's really wants my attention all the time so I hope you guys like this and um, tell me what's your favorite collection and I recommend purchasing them at Ulta because you can use coupons there and you can also use your points to redeem to get money off the collections which is really awesome so yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas and happy holidays, Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah if you're Jewish and you celebrate that. Um, yeah, I love you guys all and give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and please follow me on social media. I would really appreciate it and I wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Bye!